Sometimes you need uh, a LED that must be connected to AC, an AC source. For instance in a car or a motorcycle where you have often an AC dynamo and the voltage out from such a dynamo is not very constant. Can vary for instance between 25 volts and 60 volts. And when you want to connect a LED to it uh, that can give problems. And in that case you surely need a constant current source. That's what the LED needs to give a good amount of light under all circumstances. White LEDs have a certain barrier voltage. That means that the voltage must raise to say 12, 2 volts or so till the LED starts to light up. Other colors have other barrier voltage voltages. But this is more or less um, a universe, universal circuit. Here you can see how I made it in real. And now I want to demonstrate it. Put on the power supply that gives now uh, 65 AC volts. And the LED lights up. You see some flickering. That's due to the camera. The circuit is very simple. At first the AC is rectified. Here is a very small smoothing capacitor. Here is a Zener diode. And that Zener diode keeps the voltage constant under all circumstances. So when the AC changes here from say uh, 20 volts up to 65 volts, there's here always 12 volts. Over that 12 volt source we connect the LED via a small resistor from 1K. Here AC in, small DC voltage here. Here the Zener keeps the voltage uh, constant. That also means that the current is kept constant through the Zener, uh, sorry, through the white LED under all circumstances. And nothing from the components get hot, so that's important. Also made for car circuits, automotive circuits. That's the reason why I use here a bipolar capacitor. Electrolytics uh, don't work so well under harsh circumstances, when it's very cold or so. So um, that's more or less all to tell about this circuit. You can develop it further. Um, for instance, search for a higher current or more LEDs and perhaps I want to do that. Want to make a next video in which a bunch of LEDs is driven. So very useful on AC dynamos. Switch off the light now and such a white LED can generate a lot of light. Clear to see here. And in the dark it's far enough to be seen by uh, other people on the road.